the knobs I print, um, I print with honeycomb interior, look like this, or at least they should. Now, I print some with a little more density in them, and they look like this, or, you know, they should. So, recently, instead of this, I've had knobs that look like this. <laughs> um, yeah, and that was done with the same program, uh, the same setting, everything, and super flimsy they just they just weren't the same thing i had aborted prints and then finally this um i thought it was maybe an xy axis issue and uh no it just wasn't i mean i i cleaned it i oiled it i you know i checked my belts and i was getting this kind of product that you can see light through and that's with four layers on it i deduced that it was the hot end that needed swapped I got my parts in for the new hot end on the printer and uh, I'll put links to all the parts in the in this video as well there at the bottom in the description. Uh, this is um, the new heat sink um, feed tube nozzle. It's a, a 0 .04 nozzle or 0 .4 nozzle sorry and then right in there maybe you can see it there's a new PTFE tube. Um, mine is super gummed up. I, I don't think there's any any save in it. Um, so I have this. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, one of the things I found um, on the hot end on the on the current printer with the issue is that uh, the thermo tape has failed around this. It's there's some PLA that has gotten in between the thermo tape and and the hot end, and that that's led to some issues. Uh, I've got a whole roll of thermo tape, but what I thought I might do. Instead of thermal tape on the hot end this time, I think what I've decided to do is use uh, these new silicone jackets. Um, these apparently are the new hotness. Uh, mine uh, from this this vendor, which again I'll link below, are for the MK10, and they they give you four of them: three blues and a black. There's no difference, just the color. Um, silicone is a is a wonderful uh, material for insulation. Um, for what I'm doing, it uh, silicone is is it, it doesn't combust until it hits about 450 C, which is like 850 Fahrenheit. Um, it's actually um, eight, 842 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'd like to keep my nozzle at about uh, 220 uh, that I print uh, PLA with. Um, that's a little above range on this. Now it's not going to combust or anything, but what happens is it hardens over time when, uh, when subjected to temperatures over 200 degrees. Now again, silicone is great. It's great for aircraft. Uh, it's used all over aviation because it, you know, it, it has such a high melt temp and combustion temp. Uh, funny enough, not good for space. Uh, it outgasses. And uh, it's really bad for corrosion on parts. So no silicone on rockets and satellites, but uh, floor silicone, but no, no strict silicone. But it's great for a terrestrial printer. So we're going to check and see. Again, hopefully this uh, keeps my temperature uh, on my hot end around that, that one degree of, uh, of 220. If not, uh, I can go back to thermo tape. And if it does harden, if these only print for a little while on these harden and, and start chipping because it's over 200 C well I have four of them so we'll see all right let's get to it like a fine and proper nerd I uh, downloaded the directions from Dremel on on how to how to do the hot end swap and I looked at them and you know really good steps one through eight or so great everything looked good I followed all the steps correct tools were listed everything was good yeah you know looks looks good it's fine and all the way to there uh no absolutely positively not so like six steps were missing just completely and utterly not there How, what set screws do take out what tools to use what order just all sorts of stuff and then I looked online and on YouTube to see if there were any videos and I couldn't find any and that's really some of the impetus for me doing this video 
Um, I do like how at the at the end though it's congratulations without all the steps. After it's been heated up and cleaned off just a little bit, there is a set screw in the back of the block that you're going to have to loosen, which is lots of fun. Um, you have to wait until your hot end cools. So let me go. Let me. I loosen the, the screw, but the uh, the hot end isn't cool yet. So let me set her down. Don't set her back on this, because what happens is this is plastic and you get some melt. So just um, set it on something metal um, to let it cool down. It takes about 20 minutes. So after you get all the thermo tape off, there is a set screw there on the bottom next to the nozzle, which is actually right there. Um, that has to be removed before you can take out this uh, this thermocoupler. Now for this temp sensor wire, um, if you had a small set of combination wrenches that would be great, but a pair of needle nose will take them out too. If you'll notice the heat shrink on this wire has, has failed, um, so I'm going to apply a little more heat shrink to this. So just the kind of shape that this was in. Um, You've had some bleed through there, and I think that was part of it that, um... Whoa there, Nosferatu! Somebody needs to clip them nails! All of the, uh, all the filament has, uh, bled under the thermo tape. That, that's created an issue. Um, this PTFE tube is just, it was a little burnt and just absolutely full of, um, of gunk. And there's a swell and... So that, that's an issue. And then looking inside here, this is grooved. This, uh, this nozzle may have, may have finally given up the ghost as well. So. Now then, getting this out of the block after all those heating cycles um, is going to prove problematic. But um, that's why I have tools and opposable thumbs. In order to get that out of there, I actually had to use a soft face mallet and a 3 16 uh, gunsmithing punch. So let's put the new one in and see how difficult that is. So the new part actually slips right in, no issue. So that's good. I guess it's the repeated heat heating cycles of the old part. I put a little bit of white heat shrink on it because it's really the size that fit over that, that nut enough to protect it well there we are all back together everything's tight this is the right side it's the right direction this is the right side the right direction I took really good pictures of the hot end before I took it apart um, I like this to be over a little bit but I think it's a thread issue so we're gonna put it back together and see what we got all right well, I'm gonna put the, uh, the silicone jacket on too that was not for the faint of heart. Here are all the tools that I ended up using um, in order to, to get that hot end swapped out. Look at that all back together. With the jacket on, the new nozzle, the new hot end, everything nice and clean. Let's see how she prints. Well, shit on the stick. Everything powered up, everything went home. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me load some filament and uh, I'm going to re-level. Um, anytime that you change something like this, it's really best to re-level and then do a test print. Hmm, I may or may not be drinking a Southern Roan Red while uh, finishing up this uh, this fix. It looks like we're stuck at 98. Um, I'm not sure why, but it's timed out on me twice. So I think I'm going to remove the blue uh, silicone jacket. I'm going to try the black one just in case. I'm trying again with the black jacket on. We'll see. All right, I got it to load. Look at that. I got filament coming out. So let's build. Yeah, real happy with that. Let me get this off and we'll see. We'll see what the bonding in comparison to. Uh, worse bad new part i mean even the even the surface 
looks great on this. So I guess the, the last little bit of proof in the pudding is to cut it in half and see, uh, see how the honeycomb is inside if it's laid in perfectly. Well, it looks like we have really good honeycomb. Let's take a look at this one. It's all chewed up, but... Yeah, look at that. All right, super happy. And here is the worst possible. This is when everything was really striated. There's the interior. It didn't honeycomb at all. The structural integrity, both this way and this way, is terrible. Um, these are uh, intermittent. When I started noticing the striations before I even knew about the honeycombing issue, the interior, and it's not good. Um, it's almost as bad as that, but not quite. Still not good. Um, I actually had to call about 50% uh, of my last production run because of this. And then this is with the new hot end. Look at that. I mean, absolutely night and day. Yeah, Re really happy with, uh, with this fix.